Well, look at what we woke up to this morning. There's some turkeys out here by our garden, but you got to look at the mountains. It is absolutely beautiful. It rained hard last night, and as you can see, look what happened up there on those mountains. Fresh Montana winter snow. Wow. Just a skiff, and it'll probably be melted off later today because it's supposed to warm up, but just look how beautiful that is. Isn't that be pretty? Absolutely stunning. But this is how our garden looks this morning, and by tonight, it's going to look quite differently, I think. We're going to go in there this morning and probably cut down all the corn and just clean up more of the plants that are out there because it is fall. It's the first day of fall last week, I think it was, and there are no more plants growing in the garden. We need to pick our apples probably shortly. We only had one frost, but... Um, I think they probably almost stopped growing. We'll probably leave them on there for a little while yet, then we'll pick them. Oh, I see. That's why I hear the turkeys. There's a couple of them stuck by the fence. They don't know how to get get to the others. All they'd have to do is just walk around that bush, but I guess that's why turkeys are not considered too smart. Here I'm looking out my kitchen window, and look at those turkeys out there. Some big turkeys right in front of our barn this morning. Here's Avalon and Wyatt, and they're picking up the pumpkins. And over here, these are some last of the melons that are still laying out here that we have to, to pick. And I want to show you all the grapes that we picked. Look at all those grapes. A whole box, banana box full of grapes. That's so awesome. That was just off, like, I think two plants right here. And we have another variety further over that's really good that they're... Uh, different variety they're not quite ready yet and then I hear the boys over in the far corner over there they're picking on another variety over against the fence over there but I think those are ready so anyways we're just it's a kind of a rainy day today and we're out here and it's fall time and we're kind of cleaning up the garden oh that one got away from you Wyatt so Priscilla is probably gonna make grape juice out of all these grapes and these are pie pumpkins, so we're going to make a whole, can a whole bunch of pie uh, filling so we can have squash pie and pumpkin pie this winter time, which is my favorite. Okay, we got all our pumpkins over here. We got all those picked up and some butternut squash. And now we're going to get all the rest of these um, watermelon and cantaloupe. Make a big pile, and then I think we'll probably take these and put them in with the chickens so they they can uh, eat all the little the plants and stuff so we already picked all our big watermelon these are just some of the scraps that are left over I guess you could call them scraps the little ones that might not make anything it's so much so nice to have a nice big garden but uh, it's also nice in the winter time when things slow down you don't have to come out here and the garden is just all resting the winter all winter long and the springtime it's all clean you come out you can start planting again now that we have all our cantaloupe and squash and pumpkin and most of our grapes picked and taken care of I'm gonna take uh, we we'll take this corn cutter this is actually an old corn cutter that my I grew up with um, for some reason I ended up with it which I'm grateful for um, I'm gonna we're gonna chop this corn down and there's a lot of it So we're just gonna do some at a time and basically all the ears are off of it might be a couple of small ears um, But it doesn't break down very well I don't have a chopper if I had a chopper or something if I had a compost pile, but I don't really so I'm just gonna make a pile out back and the deer come and they eat it. So That's what I do I can Carry it out I have irrigation line running through here, so I have to be really careful I don't cut that. I could go and, I guess, and drag it out of the way, but it's kind of a pain. So I just kind of be careful how I cut it. And there's Rosie enjoying herself, looking for a, another meal of chipmunk or something. That's Avalon's kitty. <clears throat>
Okay, there goes Ethan with a big load of corn out of the garden. It's too hot to Here we're going to chop a whole bunch more. Yeah, so it's just right, so I guess he did it. Have on them so that corn shall see the draw. Okay. Can't see what medicine that group is green. Gotta get rid of all this corn here. Well, I'm chopping down these cabbage, taking the cabbages off. I'm a little disappointed because my purple cabbage did not do as well as I hoped. They the plants were really beautiful and big and then the aphids came and I couldn't quite control them so they they, they just kind of quit growing the the heads but I still have quite a bit they're just not as big so I clean them and then we'll put it in like a cold storage for a while and until we use them. These aphids were really bad. Our seeds here. We didn't even plant these sunflower seeds, they all came up volunteer. We just randomly kind of picked them, let them grow where we wanted to, and kind of picked out where we didn't want them to grow. They kind of make the garden a nice decoration. Watch you. Okay. It's pretty much any lots of lava. There's still some real pretty flowers here. Kind of neat, right there. Almost pick those and take them inside. I think I will make a little bouquet. It's actually really pretty still. The last of the sunflowers. Nice little bouquet for the house. Okay, we're gonna dig all the rest of these potatoes here. I think we already did all of this uh, last week or a couple weeks ago. So we're gonna dig, go through here and, oh yeah, I see some there. I don't wanna puncture them. Oh, nice, that's a good one. Oh yeah, ooh, nice. Wow, all for one plant. That's pretty awesome. Okay, there's one plant. That's pretty good. We have like three different varieties in here. Here's the next plant. Look at that. There's 
there's more. Look, could you let me how that you see with the green eyes can I can see sit here? Oh no. there. So. I think I see another one down in there. Oh, there's a big one. Another biggie. Isn't it amazing about gardens? You get all these potatoes. What you can grow. There's a couple. Ooh, there's a big one, Wyatt. That Looks like it had a little sun. Isn't that really huge? Isn't that really huge? Okay. Good job, Chloe. Let's see what we got more in there. Oh! Good dig. Oh, that's a hoofah. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, look at that big one. Uh, Chloe, it's not for me. Wow. I got a yard. Ooh, a whole bunch of them in there. If there's a big one, I'll get that one out of there. Ah, Luke, don't want me. Oh. oh Chloe found a juicy night crawler. <sighs> look at that night crawler. Ooh, wow, look at that. That's the biggest one I've ever seen in this garden. <laughs> nice. That means it's a healthy garden. It's good to <laughs> see you want a lot of night crawlers. <laughs> right, and these potatoes, there's a lot of potatoes in here. That's awesome. We need a lot. Anyone? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Well, there's our pile of corn and sunflower seeds. The deer are gonna enjoy that. Now, let's go over here, back into the garden. And I think they are still digging over here. They don't know I'm videoing. Digging taters. Somebody got tired and decided to take a nap. Right on Mama's coat, too. Nice. Found a carrot in here. There's Rosie. I think she's pregnant because she's taken a lot of naps the last while. She's a good monster. Look at those claws right there. About every second or third morning, she'll come. When we step outside the door, she'll have a, a cat or a mouse in front of the door for us, waiting for us. Okay, so here's the ultimate experiment. We'll see if we get any potatoes out of this hay bale experience. Oh, Ooh. look at that. <laughs> Not sure how many we're gonna get here. I'd like to keep the bales kinda together, Ethan, if we can. They're not Super promising here. Well, probably what's going to happen is next spring we're going to get a whole bunch of them. Oh, there's a night crawler came up here, which is good. That's well, really crazy that we all I can more. say is the experiment kind of kind of failed. In I here. was hoping to get a bucket full I'm of sure why taters in here, and then we got a couple handfuls. So I don't know why it didn't, the whole, oh, didn't produce. Some. But a lot uh, of taters, it didn't. So, so much for that. We did get some small ones. But maybe we'll try it again next year. And the straw was really packed, really tight. I kind of am thinking maybe it couldn't couldn't really grow or something. So, anyways, what we got is what we got. Okay, the last of the garden jobs is picking these blackberries, and then I think we're pretty much done for today. There's yep. kind of the rest of them in there. What's left? Avalon's still digging down in there. 
So we just gave now we gotta a bunch wash of the potatoes. The now they're working on. And yeah. then I think we're gonna call it a day. Another Saturday, we have to take down the beans, and we'll plant garlic here in a couple weeks, and then we'll go trim all the grapes. But that's after we get more frost and still some things to do. But still a bit of a jungle. But each day it's a little bit less. And tonight he's taking me on a date. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that'll be good. As we add water to these taters, and we're gonna wash them, then we're gonna spread them out on the gravel to dry. Okay, that's uh, washing number one. Now we're gonna do it again, do another rinse. Oh. Okay, now we're going to wash them again. Yay, yep, there's a little bit of leak underneath there. And then, once they're washed, we'll spread them out. We'll let them dry. Hopefully, it'll dry. It's not very warm this afternoon, but maybe just enough. We'll let them dry, and then we'll put them in crates, and then we'll put them in our can room. in our basement. Okay, now, do this a little bit yet. There's a muddy one. Ugh, That's awesome. Do it, probably wash it one more time with water. Oh. Can I hold that one, Chloe? Thank you. Oh, oh we lost one. Escapey. Can you hold them? Stay on Ooh, there we go. Yeah. All right, open it up. Can open the hydrant. Okay. All right, now they're getting pretty clean. One more. We're blessed with a really good well. We have 12 gallons a minute, but our well is 440 feet deep. So we had to get drill a long way down because we're up on the mountain. But I was getting hey, now the water pretty clean, and we're gonna do at all until we one were final dump right here. It's okay, Chloe, if you lose a few, it's all right. Feet, we only had a couple of gallons a minute. I said, let's go on, and then we had 12 gallons, and I said, that's good, let's okay. stop. So we have really good well water. A little bit more, Chloe. Okay, nice. Now we're gonna take these out, spread them out on the gravel. Yep, how about right here is a good place for them? Now we gotta be careful so they don't get bruised. Yep. There they go. Okay, look the blue one. Okay, well there are all the potatoes that we dug out of the garden this afternoon. Doesn't look like that many, but when you put them in a box, that'll last us for quite a while. That's I don't know how many pounds there are, probably. 50 pounds or more, I would think. Maybe more, maybe 80 pounds, I don't know. Anyways, those are all fingerlings. These are all like a Yukon gold or yellow fin. Ah, oh, no, like a yellow fin, yep. Yellow potatoes. So, now we're about done. It's mid-afternoon, late afternoon, and we're gonna kind of start wrapping up our Saturday here. Don't want to work all day. Now I'll we'll have to give the goats some hay, and then I think maybe we'll be done after that. Here we're going up to the and upstairs of the barn here. There, we'll keep our in the back of my truck. Then we have to drive it up to the goats. And it's a bit of a pain, but I only have to do it about every three weeks, so it's not here. too bad. Open this door right here.
Okay, they're, they are happily munching on their hay. And we also gave them some corn, which they really enjoyed from our garden. Now that hay should last them. Six 50 pound bales, that's about 300 pounds. That should last about three weeks. So that's 100 Still pounds a week. 50 pounds per Before week picture. Goat. <laughs> and we'll do an after picture. That, Matt? Six, seven, but uh, seven now pounds a day. That's Justin. And Something I'm going like to be that. helping that's Ethan. About, right? They think they eat about six, seven um, pounds a day. We've, on average, want, so. we've been wanting to do this project for a long yeah. time. I've helped them, or they helped me this afternoon or this morning, today, us, and now we're helping them. And we're going to take these um, birch rounds. I think they're birch or aspen. I'm not totally sure. I think they're birch. And we're going to mount these skull plates, skulls on here, deer uh, skull plate here, antlers and one Ethan shot, and this was one that Justin shot, and we've been wanting to get these on, these are from like two years ago, we still haven't got them on here, so that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of okay, so now hot we've got glue. The plate screwed on there. Show it, show right. you the screws even here. Show them the screws. So we screwed it on. We drilled a couple holes so it didn't split the skull plate. And now here's a Just rabbit like that we shot um, and that we tanned. And okay. we're maybe we could use this one. now because of what we have. Our piece isn't big enough. We're gonna have to um, kind of you piece it together a little bit. I think. Okay, back to this project here. We got started okay, on Ethan's. The and now, picture, um, that looks a lot he better. He needs to take a haircut, so See, we're gonna work on Justin. Justin tells Justin and Ethan apart. Justin's curly cue right here is right on the side of his head, and Ethan's is right on the back of his head. So that's all. Now he's getting a haircut. This is the back of Justin's hanger. We just, or uh, what do you call it? This plate, wall plate. So we just put a hanger on here. And then on the front side, we put this basically, <laughs> pretty simple. We put this screw in right here. And the deer naturally have a place in the back of their skull. And show us, Justin, how that's gonna just go right over top of that. That screw was right in that hole. Priscilla made this made right delicious dessert, dessert pretty much sits there now when you uh, pick it up. Hot blessing to tomorrow after church. What is it, babe? And it'll just yes, the blackberries stay we right picked there. is uh, blackberry like that. crumble uh, bars. Oh, it looks so amazing. Go. Put it up straight up and down, just like it's going to be on the wall. A lot of stuff like going that. on in the kitchen. Perfect. That, <laughs> these skulls, and uh, haircut going on. Haircut over there. So next thing we have to do here is we have to glue that. Part of that's broken off, so we have to gonna glue that little piece on uh, that's loose there. Justin, take it off and show him what. Yep. So we're gonna glue that on there. Well, he kept his promise, and he took me out to eat, out on a date. And then she looked pretty. But look at that food. I'm pretty well attracted to that, too. Prime rib, and what'd you get, babe? Uh, it's called lumberjack. It's like, uh, I'm not even sure what it is. A smash burger. Yeah, it's like this meat underneath with all these toppings. So, anyways, we got the kiddos at home, and uh, it's wise to take some dates now and again so that's yeah. what we're doing tonight <laughs> but we just want to say thank you again for watching